What's up athletes, this video is gonna be about how the journey of using functional movement to overcome pain is non-linear. So when it comes to overcoming pain, I'm gonna draw you a bit of a schematic so you can understand what most athletes go through so you can manage your own expectations and not get discouraged by little troughs of pain that show up on your journey to performance, on your journey to a resilient space of being able to play your sport without worrying about buckling your knees, hips, ankles, shoulders, and neck, okay? So here's the idea. On the journey of function, using function to overcome pain, okay, there are a lot of challenges that come along your way. But it's all a matter of perspective, okay? Because all the other things you may have tried in the past, the chiros, the massage therapist, the dry needling, everything you've done in the past, they've gotten rid of the pain signaling. So what it's done is it's, it's taken your pain and dropped the signal. But it doesn't necessarily ensure that the pain uh, does not come back. But what does, what you can always trust, is that when you create function, to always be able to move better and have more safety. So here's what we want you to understand. The first principle you need to understand is that pain is just a signal. It is a warning signal. It's just there to say, hey, something is off. Okay, something is off. I'm scared. Or it could mean if it's really drastic and terrible, Stop, danger. Those are the three main things, okay? Just because you're in pain does not mean you're in danger. It just means it's an old, scared neuro neurological response saying, I don't know if I'm ready for this. Even though you might be, it just says that, okay? So that's what pain is. It is overall a, a feeling of unsafety. Unsafe. Okay? Function is the feeling of safety. And this is why we teach it this way. Okay? Your body is typically in two states. Even when you're training and you're actually in pain free, it's in two states. Safety or unsafety. Your degree to feel safe is your degree that you create function, engagement, connection, and internal awareness in your body. That is the degree you feel safe. Okay? You can replicate this through everyday movement, through squatting, lunging, pushing, twisting, all the movements that are relevant to you as a human first, and then to your sport second. Okay? So this is the journey, and this is why we do it this way. Now that you understand safety and unsafety, you have to understand that it's non-linear as you use this methodology to overcome your pain. It is the most root cause, uh, root cause kind of method to get over your pain for the rest of your life. With that being said, it comes with challenges. Okay, so your journey will look like, say that the, a, a good normal chart would be like a linear fashion, right? This is a linear progress to zero pain. However, when you go about this way, guys, what's actually gonna happen is you're gonna have these peaks and troughs, peaks and troughs, peaks and troughs, over, over, over. And a little bit of plateau, and then boom, and then boom, and then all of a sudden now you're staying at peak. Okay? It's not a direct linear line. And that's because your body has to understand all the scared signals you've had to give it as, as a result of your injury. So when you got hurt the first time, there are all these guarding mechanisms that are happening in your muscles, your joints, saying, I don't know if this is right. I'm going to tighten up here because last time you messed me up, right? And because you messed me up last time, I have to make sure that I have this mechanism in place that you don't do it again. But if you're creating function, that means you're turning off these signals, you're rewiring movement, you're holding positions for a long time. So you, every now and then you're going to have these moments of, oh, there's a little bit of pain again. But then your job is to redirect yourself back to this state. Why is the pain there? Do I need to turn something off? 
Am I scared? Or is it actually me being in danger? And if you work with us at the Unstoppable Baller, you learn how to, de how to decipher all of these states to know where you truly are and redirect yourself back to the most important thing, which is safety, which is how you create engagement, how you create stability, how you get stronger through the toughest positions in movement, the positions that you don't normally go to. Those are what count, okay? So just know it's nonlinear. You're gonna have these moments where you have a little bit of pain, then you overcome it because you understand why. Then it happens again, it happens again. And then at some point you hit this like aha moment, like oh my God, it makes sense. And when it makes sense, that's when it exponentially jumps. You're like, oh my God, now I can jump. And then it keeps going. You have these big exponential jumps. Even when you're at peak, guys, you might have a moment of, oh, there that, there that is again. Hmm, let's make that resilient. Back up. This is the power of resilience. You understand why, how you can redirect yourself to what you need. There's no perfect athlete, there's no perfect human, but there is the space where you can take complete sovereignty and dominion over yourself, and this is the way we do it, okay? So if this interests you, and you're inspired by this, then comment below, hit the like button, hit, hit subscribe, more videos like this on the way. Peace.